What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we are going to be looking at how to set up your one bar sound bar. Let's get to it. So I got the sound bar right in front of me. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the power cord and plug it right into the wall. Now on the top, we have some controls like power on or off, volume up or down, and source select. But we also include a remote that gives you full control over a lot of the different functionality. So let's go through the remote really quick. So I got my power button, I have a mute button if I just want to quickly mute the speaker. I have my input select, so there's four different inputs. BT stands for Bluetooth, OP stands for optical, HD stands for HDMI, and AU stands for aux. We also include an RCA to 3.5 cable. Now the Bluetooth is super easy to connect to. You just go into the Bluetooth settings in your smartphone or tablet or any device, open up Bluetooth and find one bar. Once you find one bar, you just click on it and it'll automatically connect and let you know with this chime sound over here. Once you hear that sound, you know you are connected. Let's go ahead and give a quick listen to what this sounds like and I'll show you some other things that you can control on the remote. So I'm gonna play a song. Already super loud, I'm only at 50%. So I can raise the volume. Make sure it's a drop too. I can also go up on the treble or down, whatever you want. So during that demo, I was quickly just adjusting some different things that you have control over with the remote. You'll notice there are buttons to go up and down with the bass frequencies. It's between five and negative five. So I could reduce the bass by five or I can boost it by up to five. And the same thing applies to the treble. You can go up five different notches or down five different notches to really fine tune it around your sound. You'll notice these four buttons over here. We have a music, news, movie and 3D modes. Those are just four EQ presets that you can choose between to really fine tune your listening experience. And you can always tell which EQ you are on by clicking it and looking over here. So it says E1, that's EQ1, music. E2 is the movie mode. E3 is the news mode, and E4 is the 3D mode. So if you're watching a movie, you might wanna try E2. If you're listening to music, you might wanna try E1. And if you're listening to something with the surround sound feel, you might wanna try the 3D mode. Now that brings me to another important part, integrating with your TV setup. So this is a sound bar, which is usually used with a TV or home theater setup. And there's a couple different ways that you can integrate it with your TV. Some older TVs use RCA audio outputs, so you can just run an RCA to aux cable right into the input over here. But if you have a more modern TV, there's two other options that you can use. So you can run an optical cable out of the audio out on your TV right into the optical input on the one bar. Or if you have a more sophisticated TV that has an HDMI ARC channel, you can use an HDMI cable to connect out of the ARC channel right into the one bar. Now it's important to know that your TV has an HDMI audio return channel, ARC, because that's the only thing that's going to work for this HDMI connection to the one bar. So if your TV doesn't specify an HDMI ARC and it just says HDMI, you could probably assume that that is not used for audio. So if you plug that from your TV into here, you're not going to hear any sound. So that's just a way to troubleshoot if you plug it in through HDMI and it's not working. Now this sound bar was designed with all different types of home theater setups in mind. So we have rubber feet on the bottom so that you could just place it onto a media center or a desk or whatever your setup might be but you can also mount it onto the wall for a nice clean look. The installation is really simple to do and it's non-intrusive and even if you don't feel like you're handy, you could do it, I'll walk you through it right now. It comes with two different mounts and it comes with four screws and four wall anchors. So the first thing you're going to need is a screwdriver with a drill bit and also a Phillips screw head. So the first thing we're going to do is install one side with the wall mount. So what you're going to do is mark a place on the wall where you actually want to install the sound bar. You're going to drill through that with your drill. Then you're going to push the anchor into place and make sure it's flush with the wall. Once that's anchored into place, we're going to take the mount and line it up with the screw so that we know that it matches and take a Sharpie or a pen or anything and mark the other hole with the Sharpie so that we know where to drill the next hole. Once we have that marked, we're going to drill the next hole. The same thing, push the anchor through and just make sure it's nice and flush with the wall. Once we have our two holes that look like this, we're going to take our mount 
and hand screw in the Phillips screws into both holes. Once we know it's fitting nice and snug, we can finish the rest of the screw with the screwdriver. So once you have this side mounted, we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Now there's a lot of flexibility with how much space can be between the two mounts, but we recommend at least 28 to 30 inches. Now before you screw in the next mount, you're going to want to measure the distance from the bottom of the TV to the lip of the first mount and make sure that's exact on the other side so you know exactly where to screw in the next hole. Now once you have both mounts on the wall, you're going to just take the sound bar and sit it right on top of it and it'll sit nice and snug. Now if you want a super clean install, you can also drill your wires right into the wall and hide them behind the sound bar. There's actually a lip on the sound bar so that all the wires can come through and not have it stick off the wall. But that's it, you're all set then. All right guys, we got the one bar all set up. I just mounted it onto the wall. <laughs> All right guys, so hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to get set up with your one bar. But again, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us through email or phone. As always guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.